policy studies, two environmentalists, two activists, two leaders, and two voices who speak up for the issues and the people who often don't get one. Andrea Horvath and the Honorable Jack Layton. well enough in this province. We know the demand is there. It's there in places like the GTA, 
but it's also there in communities like Ottawa, communities like Hamilton, that want to see light rail systems to get people out of cars and to make traveling around a lot more affordable for folks. We know that we can do that through the natural resources that we mine up in uh, northern Ontario, that we make into steel in communities like Hamilton and Sudbury, and that we make passenger cars for in places like Thunder Bay. We have that infrastructure in place already. We can utilize it much more uh, uh, in a much more full way if we are focusing some of our infrastructure investment in that kind of infrastructure, the kind of infrastructure that would bring Ontario uh, to be a, a transit hub for North America in terms of production and research and development. So those are just a few of the ideas. There are many, many more things that I'm looking for in the budget that's coming uh, next week. Uh, but what I'm hoping to see is an overall plan from the provincial government, which we haven't seen yet in terms of saving uh, good jobs in this province and, and, and letting Ontarians know that there is a future uh, where people can actually work at a job and not three jobs to be able to have a decent quality of life. So I look forward to hearing from you uh, in terms of your ideas, and I know that some of you will uh, probably bring to the table issues around education, uh, issues around childcare. Uh, there are a whole bunch of pieces, particularly issues around the environment, and I'm uh, looking forward to hearing what you have to say. So thank you for inviting us, and uh, hopefully we'll have a good discussion today.